Recently, I got sick and tired of doing something. So I'm gonna do something about it. Here's what I got tired of doing. This is what I purchased to fix the problem or what I got tired of doing. All right, so this closet in a spare bedroom, it, it's powered. Uh, you can see there's a pull chain and you come in and you give the old pull, light comes on. It's kind of annoying to have to have a pull chain. So the solution is this uh, cheap light off of Amazon LED, uses 10 watts. So uh, in this video, what I plan on doing is showing how this works, uh, do a quick install, and uh, maybe help you figure out if you want to do it. All right, here we go. All right, so the first step is to uh, uninstall that. So we're going to take that down. I'm going to hand the camera over to my son, who is the video man today. He's going to do his best to show this in this unlit room. How to do this. So first things first, let's take this out. And just like every do-it-yourselfer, this fixture is live. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this guy's an idiot. Maybe I am. So once you get this down, it's pretty simple. If you're a do-it-yourselfer at home as well, um, the idea here uh, is, is if you work with one side at a time and you're careful, so those are arcing because they're connected, don't touch the ones that aren't connected to the, the uh, fixture itself. Screw those back on. All right, here's the uh, here's the switch or the the light fixture. This is what we're going to replace. So give me just a second, and I will have the other fixture ready to go. Here's the backside of our new fixture. This is the LED fixture that I'm getting ready to install. Cool thing about this, it's motion activated, which means I don't need a pull chain, uh, don't need a switch. So it's kind of cool. So if you have an application like this, hopefully this will work for you. Uh, supposedly this will stay on, I believe, for 30 seconds. So you shut the door, 30 seconds, it goes off. It's using only 10 watts. Um, that, that beats even the previous bulb that I had. I think that was like a, uh, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it's an LED bulb. So on this one, um, white and black, and then the yellow, normally they're green wires, but that's the ground. The fixture before did not have a ground, so we'll see if I can ground this to the box. So on the back of the light fixture, I told you uh, ground wire. Uh, after looking back into the box, the box actually does have a ground in there as well. Again, I'm doing this live. Uh, because why not? And I know I'm going to get some hate on that, but hey, it's all right. Um, so... Again, only working one wire at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and thread the ground on. And then gently push it back in the box. And then we'll go for our black wire, which is the hot wire in our case. Those are live. You really gotta watch those. Those are the ones that you don't wanna to touch, especially should come on after this actually now the real thing is here the box the way that it's mounted to the box you see that bud the way that it's mounted to the box uh, I use the supplied hardware to mount it to the box but here's what I'm facing right now is this uh, the th the screws here on either side of here uh, this one here hits the outside of my box. So as I try to put this back up in there, it may not work right. So give me just a second and I'll see if I can get this mounted correctly. And uh, then I'll show you maybe the finished product. But other than this, there are holes supplied in the fixture, which is right here. Holes supplied in the fixture and those go in there and um, they make it really nice, really easy to just kind of put in and, and twist and it will stay put. So um I'll get right back with you on a finished product. Here we go. We're going to test it out. It's all installed. Uh, my son, we shut the door. He counted to 30 seconds. The light went off. 
So we're gonna check it out, make sure my live electrical job worked. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Light kicked on, it's a thing of beauty. Uh, so we mounted this, if you do this yourself, I'd, I would recommend maybe mounting it so the sensor is facing you if it's in a weird position. Um, so that it catches that movement right when you walk in, but it does illuminate the closet really well. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like it, it doesn't you know, see everything really well. So uh, so yeah, here's here's the box. I'll put the link in the description, kind of showing you uh, where I got it. I believe the reviews are pretty good. My father-in-law actually installed a couple of these, and that's that's how kind of I heard about them. But uh, yeah, check out the link in the description. Hope this helps somebody. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.